The man lit the paper on fire and threw it into the trash and then knocked it over as he tried to get the attention of the people on the other side of the building before the killer found it, seeing that he had achieved his goal. Tom frantically signaled for the police to be called, but then the killer smelled something burning and immediately grabbed a fire extinguisher and ran towards Tom's room. Tom heard the footsteps and was about to run out of the room when he collided with the killer, but the killer didn't pay any attention to him but rushed straight into the room and quickly put out the fire inside and then signaled the people on the other side of the building that the danger was over. Tom's plan to call for help failed as he hid in the mainframe room and raised his own access card, then continued to disable everyone else's. But just as he was about to finish, the killer found him. But just as he was about to do it, the killer came for him. Luckily, Tom's reflexes were quick and he was able to escape. With his access card disabled, the killer was unable to move around the building. Tom took this opportunity to quickly turn off the lights in the office area, and then used the only access card in his hand to bypass the killer from the other side and rushed straight into the boss's office. But no sooner had he explained everything than the door slammed. The assassin entered the office and without hesitation, he shot the woman away and then pointed the gun at the boss and asked him if he had seen Tom. While Tom quietly slipped out of the room, he thought the boss would be killed, but the killer let him go. After the assassin left, Tom returned to the office and looked at the woman who had been killed and realized that she was his client and a key witness in a lawsuit. It seemed that the assassin had come to kill him to silence him. But what Tom did not understand is that since the killer has accomplished the goal why not leave?